Welcome to the doctors. We have a special guest doc today. Yes, yes bud. He is not your typical surgeon. He plays one on TV. Please welcome star of ABC's The Good Doctor, Nicholas Gonzalez. Whoa. Tell us about The Good Doctor. Um, you know, the show, uh, we, we're on uh, ABC. Thank you. Fans, clearly. Uh, it's a really beautiful show, a one-hour drama about a young resident who's a surgical resident with autism. And you're an attending wow. surgeon on and the show. And I'm his attending. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm tasked with teaching him and... and uh, you're a young looking attending. <laughs> yeah, looking, <laughs> looking. <laughs> possibly. But tell us, you actually come from a medical family, right? I do, this I do. This is a natural my, transition. My, my father is a dermatologist. Um, he was a pediatrician before that and did a very unusual change in another whole other residency later on because he wanted his nights back and became a dermatologist. And uh, he just recently retired. And my brother is in San Antonio, Texas. He's a bariatric surgeon wow. who uh, specializes in laparoscopic surgery. And you know, he's so that is interesting to play a doctor thing. on TV, yeah. actually an attending surgeon on TV. And meanwhile, your brother and your dad are doctors. So do you guys get into little medical quizzes at home? <laughs> my dad's great. He plays right into it. You know, we'll we'll be I'll be on in my car on the way because we shoot in Canada, and you know I'll talk to him. We'll talk through our cases of the day. You know, and I'll and it helps because to me, I if I can connect with the material, then people believe. You know what? Absolutely. You know if I know what I'm talking about because some people we just learn the lines and spout it off, but I care, <laughs> and. Um, We'll talk about it, and uh, and he gets into it, and we'll we'll go through all the different aspects of the cases or his his experience from, with things like that or with with residents. But my brother does not suffer it for long at all. Oh, like, oh, like boy. I put in the just, time. Yeah. I'm the real doctor. Yeah, Don't I call him after work, and oh, I just got off. I had two cases. He's like, shut up. I love that. Let's uh, take a quick look of you in action on the show. It puts it past the point where we can cure with local resection. We could do Whipple surgery. That's not advised for stage three pancreatic cancer. Not quite. It's not advised for stage four. For stage three, it's discretionary. In my discretion, he's better off with 12 semi-comfortable months rather than running the risk of dying on the table tomorrow. If he doesn't die on the table, he could have many years. It isn't our call to make. I'll talk to Paul, advise him of the parameters, let him make his own decision. No. Sean should do it. Claire can do it. Yes, she can, which is why you should do it. This is a teaching hospital. Andrews is right. Being a surgeon isn't just about cutting. It isn't. It isn't. It's you, you, you have to know when to cut. No, no, that's, I mean, I think that's actually a really fascinating topic to cover on the show because it's a real world dilemma that doctors actually face ethically in terms of when to operate, when to treat, when not to treat. I think sometimes, you know, surgeons get a bad rap of like they always want to cut or they always want to get in. And I don't think that's true. Um, I think what, what seems more of an issue is there's this over testing. You know, now that scans and all the MRIs, everything's so available, there's almost an overabundance and an abuse of it. As you're going through that scenario, I'm trying to figure out if this is real life or not. And, and, and that means that you are a Very wonderful actor. Very convincing, yes. And, and I love that you're tackling important topics. I think one of the things I've learned over the years is that the power of television cannot be ignored. Dramas, if done correctly, that tackle these tough ethical dilemmas will force a person at home to ask themselves the question, if I ever come into this situation, what might I do? And it can help prepare us to think through these own scenarios in our own lives. So I, I uh, applaud you for that. Awesome. Thank you. 